Welcome back to another edition of Pollinator Plant Spotlight. This week is going to be the Nodding Onion or Allium Cernuum. I love many of the alliums and I have a lot of them in my garden. Uh, this Nodding Onion one is probably my favorite, very favorite one, along with the Star of Persia. Now, most alliums are not native to the United States, but this one, the Allium cernuum, is actually native to pretty much most of North America. The nodding onion grows about 18 inches tall and it's hardy in zones three through eight. For me, the bloom time is July and into August, although it's gonna depend a little bit on where you are since it is native to most of the United States. So your bloom time will vary from that. But for me, again, July and August. The nodding onion does grow best in full or partial sun. I have mine in full sun and it does great. It does take a variety of soil conditions. It doesn't, it's not really drought tolerant, but it, it doesn't have to be in very damp soil and it doesn't have to be fertile soil. Again, a lot of native plants, they don't, they don't really care about having super good quality soil. Now the interesting thing about the nodding onion is that the umbels face downward, so they kind of hang from a little hook. So this actually gives pollinating bees a priority for pollinators because they're able to hang upside down to gather nectar and pollen, and it doesn't affect them like butterflies don't usually hang upside down in order to feed like that. Now there's several ways to grow the nodding onion. You can certainly buy seeds and start that way. They are a cold stratification seed. You could either sow them in the, the fall for to come up the next spring, or you could do them in your fridge with the wet paper towels. I think it's for 60 days on these. Again, keep in mind that if you start from seed, it could be three years before you see any flowers on these. So if you're impatient like me, <laughs> you can either buy bulbs that you would plant in the fall, or you can get bare root or potted plants. I will put a link in the description for a place where you can get any of those or uh, bare root or potted plants or even seeds if you'd like. Now the nodding onion isn't really a host specific plant, but hair streak butterflies will lay eggs and their caterpillars will eat the nodding onions. I haven't seen any of them on my plants, but I'm definitely going to look a little closer next year. The hair streaks are pretty common. There's a lot of different kinds and here's some pictures of those and a picture of the caterpillar. It's always important to let lots of caterpillars grow in your garden so that the birds can feed all of their little babies. Again, my very favorite thing about this plant is how much the bees love this flower. They go absolutely bananas. They're just always loaded with bees. And I never worry about getting stung when I'm working in the garden because they're too busy worrying about eating and collecting pollen than they are about me moving around and trying to weed. So I hope this video has given you a little bit of inspiration to add the nodding onion to your garden. Again, it's a great looking plant. A lot of people think native plants are messy looking or weedy, but this is a great plant. Fits in well with any type of landscape plantings. And you're doing a great service for pollinators and they're just lovely to look at. Let me know if you plant any of these or if you like any of the alliums, or are you gonna try this now that you've seen this video? Until next time, have a great day and happy gardening.